The life of an Indian is defined by celebrations. Festivals, rituals, traditions and weddings punctuate the transitions from one phase of our life to the next. But what's that common element that threads each of these events together? Gold. Each step in our journey is marked by the auspicious presence of gold. But what is the journey of gold? When the late astronomer Carl Sagan said that we're all star stuff, he wasn't entirely wrong. Because gold came to us from outer space. When the Earth was hit by molten iron 4.5 billion years ago, it took away a large part of the planet's precious metals, including gold. 200 million years later, a giant explosion of stars or supernova caused meteor showers which redeposited much of the gold on Earth. The intense geothermal activity pushed the gold beneath the surface of the planet, where it was discovered thousands of years later through the process of mining. Gold was first mined 5,000 years ago, and most of it is still in circulation today. If all the existing gold in the world was pulled into a 5 micron thick wire, it could wrap the world around 11.2 million times. Gold was a revelation to the Egyptians, who soon realized that it wasn't an ordinary metal. Ancient societies like the Greeks and Romans soon followed suit. Gold was regarded powerful, indestructible and life-giving. The consumption of gold was believed to increase one's lifespan. It was believed that the metal could deliver heightened awareness and was considered an ornament of the gods. The extraction of gold began soon after gold mining was discovered. After being extracted, Gold undergoes the twin refining process of Miller and Vauville. In the Miller process, chlorine is shot through melted gold, producing gold of 99.5% purity. This is further helped by the Vauville process, which involves dropping the gold cast in an electrolyte solution, where positive gold electrodes dissolve into the solution, settling down the impurities. This achieves a purity of 99.9% of that sparkling metal that we all love and cherish. Today, Indians hold a whopping 22,000 tons of gold. Nearly 4,000 tons are held in our temples alone. To meet the ever-increasing demand for gold, we import almost 790 tons every year. Gold has important cultural, social, religious, economic and historical significance in the life of an Indian. Gold also has evolved into a refined art form both in design and workmanship. For ages, traditional Indian karigars have patiently molded gold with their hands, while repeatedly heating and cooling the metal. Gold's versatility, ductility and non-corrosive nature make it of indispensable importance to medicine, health, engineering and aerospace. At the end of its long and arduous journey, gold finds its way into our lives, symbolizing radiance, prosperity, security beauty and happiness, and making every occasion ever so special. Just like the supernovae that started it all.